Happy New Year and welcome to the January 2021 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. We begin the year with celestial fireworks. The annual quadrantic meteor shower peaks on the morning of the 3rd. The meteors radiate from a point below the handle of the Big Dipper, located above the northeast horizon. This shower produces about 90 meteors per hour under clear dark skies. The rate may be cut in half by the presence of bright moonlight. Before we move on to the evening sky, here are some pictures of the Great Conjunction from last month. It was an amazing sight and I hope you had a chance to see it under clear skies. This picture with the moon below Saturn and Jupiter was taken a few days before the planets were at its closest. They were so close that the planets and the moons were visible within the same field of view through a telescope. Without a telescope, the planets looked almost like a single point of light in this picture. With the unaided eye, the planets were seen as separate objects. The planets were located in the constellation of Capricornus, the sea goat, close to the horizon in twilight. This month, Jupiter and Saturn are visible low in the southwest, shortly after sunset. On the 8th, Mercury joins Jupiter and Saturn in the twilight sky. The red planet Mars is located high above the southwest horizon, a few hours after sunset. It's visible throughout the month, setting after midnight. This is the best time of year to learn the stars and constellations. Orion the Hunter is the easiest to find. It's high in the south on January evenings. Look for the three stars in a row that marks Orion's belt. The reddish star Betelgeuse marks his shoulder, while Rigel marks his knee. The brightest star in the night sky, Sirius, is in Canis Manger, the Great Dog. It can be found by drawing a line downwards from Orion's belt stars. A line drawn along Orion's belt stars in the opposite direction will lead you to the orange star Aldebaran in Taurus the Bull. To the left of Orion is Canis Minor, the little dog. Its brightest star is Procyon. Gemini, the twins, are located above Canis Minor. The twins' heads are marked by the stars Castor and Pollux. These are just a few of the many constellations you can see throughout the year. On the 20th, look for the crescent moon located a few degrees below Mars in the constellation of Aries the Ram. In the morning sky on the 11th, Venus and the thin crescent moon are low in the southeast. Each morning, Venus will appear lower in the sky until it's lost in the sun's glare just after the end of the month. And finally, here is our moon phase calendar to start off 2021. Last quarter is the 6th, new moon is the 12th, first quarter is the 20th, and fall is on the 28th. That's all for this month. Until next time, cheerio.